All right, let's see if I can get through this entire video without sneezing. Uh, hey, what's up? Hope you're well today. Hope you're having a good day. Hope you had an amazing Christmas. Hope you're having a great holiday. I can't believe it's already gonna be 2020. New Year's already approaching us. I am feeling a little bit under the weather, not gonna lie. I'm not feeling so great, but I know this was gonna make me feel much better. And I really wanted to get this video up for you because I have been getting some tweets asking if I'm gonna do a what I got for Christmas and I thought I would just do it. You know, at first I was like, should I make one of these videos because I don't know, some people don't like these type of videos and uh, yeah, so it's kind of like a haul slash, yeah, what I got for Christmas 2019. Christmas is much more than gifts. It's about family, it's about gratitude, you know, love. It's just about, yeah, all of that. But I did get some awesome gifts that I thought I would share with you. So yeah, this is what I got for Christmas this year. All right, so the first thing that I got, I actually am filming with it. I actually got this for myself. This isn't really a Christmas present, but I got it literally a few days before Christmas and it's my new baby that you're on You're actually my baby. No, but this is a Canon 5D Mark V. I got a new camera you guys this camera is the best. This camera is freaking cool. So I actually um, been saving for it, but I didn't really pay much for the camera. This is a Christmas gift to myself in a way. Um, I got a really good deal. This is a $4,000 camera, but I got it for $2,000 um, on Amazon. It was on sale and I jumped to it. I actually sold my old camera and a few other lenses that I ended up pretty much only paying like 600 bucks out of pocket for this camera. And I got a really good lens, 24 70 millimeter lens. I'm sure you've noticed a slight change in quality, um, just better quality. This is an amazing camera. I wanna do more videos and of course practice more photography this year. So uh, yeah, I'm showing you close ups on screen, but this is a Christmas gift that I got for myself. So yeah, that's what I got, the Canon 70D. I mean, <laughs> Canon 5D Mark V. And then I also got these new shoes. I got these from my brother. If you're watching, Ricky, Ricky Rand. He got me these, uh, this pair of Adidas. Adidas, Adidas, however you pronounce Adidas. These are just really nice and sleek and just, you know, very awesome casual uh, shoes. So I got these from my brother. By the way, I'm gonna link everything down below. I'm actually gonna do it this time because, you know, in the past, I forgot to add links to the down bar, so check links below. Thank you, brother, I love you. Oh, I also, <laughs> I got this for myself as well. Um, I got some Ray-Bans. I actually got this like three weeks ago, but I just thought I'd include this in the video. These are the Wayfair original, but I got them in a smaller size. Bam, bam, bam. Just because I had um, bigger ones that were just a little too big for my face, so I actually sold those on my Mercari shop for like 30 bucks. If you guys are interested, I have an online shop where I sell clothing that I just don't use. If you guys want to check that out, I'll link it below. But I got these for myself as well. And you want to shop for people, but you end up shopping for yourself. <laughs> it happens sometimes. So my parents got me a bunch of different things. They actually got me um, books because I've been reading a lot lately, which I'm really proud of myself for. I've always liked books, but yeah, I'm on a reading spree, I guess you could say. They got me this book, which I started reading already. This is Super Attractor by Gabrielle Bernstein. She is awesome. She is a, uh, she talks a lot about law of attraction. And if you're all about self-help, I'm sure you've heard her name before. She's actually really cool. She talks about law of attraction, attracting what you want and creating the life that you you want. So this is one of her new books. I'm sure you know who I'm talking about if you're all about this kind of stuff. She's awesome. So I got this book here. And then they also gave me this book, which is Many Lives, Many Masters by Brian Weiss. Or Brian Weiss. I've also heard about this book. I think this has five stars on Amazon. I've heard this is also a pretty uh, life-changing book as well. So got this right here and my parents also got me this book right here my morning routine I haven't really heard much about this but I went on Amazon and I had a bunch of good reviews I'm pretty positive I'm, my brother did help them out with what books to get me because he knows what type of um, you know books I like but this is my morning routine how successful people start every day inspired yeah I can't wait to read this it looks like a really easy read um, plus when I looked at the reviews happy I got this. And then my parents also got me this one, a bunch of books. I'm like set for half the year. But this is from Cesar Lozano, it's in Spanish of course. This is called Por el Placer de Vivir. I think it's like Pleasure of Living, how you uh, translate to English. But I believe they also sell this in English. But um, this is another like classic book. It has five stars. If you search this on Amazon, this is, uh, I've been wanting to read this for such a long time. This book, I actually, when I was on a flight uh, a few months ago, earlier this year, um, I went to Mexico, to Guadalajara, 
and I saw this guy on a plane. He was like next to me, or a few seats next to me on the other uh, row. And I saw him reading this book, and he would, he looked like he was so into it. And I remember like I kept looking because I'm sometimes when people read, I'm interested. Like, oh, I wonder what they're reading. And it was this book, and he was kissing the book. He was like. And I was like, wow, he must really be into that book. Yeah, my mom was next to me and I was like telling her about that, so, yes. And my parents also got me socks, which I already opened. I actually am wearing them right now. They got me these Adidas white socks, long socks, for the gym, bam, bam. And my mom actually got me a gift card from Sephora and I ended up getting this. I went straight to Sephora the next day. I got this, this is the Versace Eros, I think you pronounce it. And I asked some of you on Twitter right away, I asked, what are some of your favorite, you know, men's fragrances of all time? And I got a, a great list, but I saw this name popping up. I was interested, I went and smelled it. I was like, dude, it's mine. And yeah, I went out last night. I, uh, you know, sprayed some on, and I got compliments uh, when I was wearing this, so. Yeah, it smells really good. This is gonna be my go-to when I go out or, you know, like a nice dinner, going out, that type of uh, fragrance. So yeah. Wait, I haven't even showed you the bottle. Look at this. Fancy, fancy. Pretty bougie looking, right? But it smells bomb. It has a little line right there. And from my aunt, I got Chipotle gift card because, yes. And my cousins, and she gave me this Amazon gift card. Yes. And this Hydro Flask. I love this green color. And in our family, we do a gift exchange with all of my aunts, uncles, and cousins. I have a huge family. Um, you guys don't believe me, but I do. And my uncle, uh, he got me for the Secret Santa, the gift exchange, and I got these Converse. Hell yeah, so I got these uh, high top Converse. I've been wanting some uh, high top gray uh, Converse like these. So my padrino gave me the, uh, yeah, these high top Converse shoes. And yes, that is pretty much it. One second. All right, that is what I got for Christmas 2019. Thank you so much. And uh, that's pretty much it. I'm gonna go to the living room and or kitchen, I mean, grab some Dayquil, grab some uh, vitamin C or emergency, and probably watch Finish watching Don't Look With Cats. Have you seen that? That is a crazy documentary on Netflix. Um, I actually want some pho. That sounds so, so good. <laughs> Did you know that pho is actually pronounced pho? Like if you're asking a question, pho? It's not pho. It's not pho. It's pho. Or pho. Anyway, that's that. I'm gonna go and uh, get some rest. And I hope you have an amazing, amazing end of your year. I hope you have a great, awesome New Year's Eve. If, you know, whether you're staying at home, you're out, you're partying, if you're out, you know, be careful, be safe. And honestly, like from the bottom of my heart, I really, really do wish you an amazing new year, an amazing 2020. I really have this good feeling that it's just gonna be that year. It's gonna be a really, really good year. And I just send you all of my, you know, positive vibes your way. Thank you for your support. Thank you for, you know, this, all your support this year. I know this has been a pretty bumpy year for a bunch of us. And, you know, I just want to say we got through it. I see you and we got through it and this is going to be a, a great year. So I wish you the best. Thank you for watching. I'm going to log off here. And with that being said, insert cheesy. I will see you next year. Joke. Adios.